In the vast expanse of the cosmos, where stars twinkle like distant lighthouses and planets orbit in silent grandeur, a discovery has been made that has left astronomers and scientists utterly astounded. NASA's latest findings have unveiled a new class of planets that defy our current understanding of planetary formation and evolution. These mysterious worlds, known as Super Neptunes, are rewriting the textbooks and challenging everything we thought we knew about the universe. But what exactly are these Super Neptunes? Why are they so different from anything we've seen before? And what do they mean for the future of planetary science? Buckle up! because we're about to dive deep into one of the most exciting astronomical discoveries of our time. It all began with a star that blinked. For most people, a flicker of light in the night sky might go unnoticed, but for astronomers, it was a clue, a cosmic breadcrumb that something extraordinary was happening. A star in the distant TOI-6054 system dimmed ever so slightly, just for a moment. At first, scientists assumed it was just another gas giant passing in front of the star, perhaps something akin to Jupiter or Neptune. But as the data poured in, it became clear that this was no ordinary planet. The object was too large to be Neptune, yet too small to be Jupiter. Its behavior was erratic, defying the norms of planetary physics. This wasn't just another gas giant. It was something entirely new a super-Neptune, and then they found another one, and another. Suddenly, a pattern began to emerge. These mysterious worlds, once thought to be rare, were appearing more frequently than anyone had anticipated. But what are they? Are they missing links in planetary evolution? Or are they something entirely new, a class of planets we've never encountered before? Scientists are racing to find out, and the answers could rewrite everything we know about planets. Let's break it down. What makes Super Neptunes so different? Astronomers have just discovered a planet called TO, I 3261b, and this rare Neptune sized planet has a year which lasts just 21 hours. This means it completes its orbit around its star in less than a day, which is quite surprising. TO 3261b is part of a group known as ultra hot Neptunes, which consist of large and hot planets that orbit very close to their stars. The TOI 6054 system, discovered in January of 2025, introduced two new super Neptunes that have left scientists scratching their heads. These planets, designated TOI 6054b and TOI 6054c, are unlike any super Neptunes we've seen before. For extended periods, they stand out due to their unique orbits, extreme temperatures, star. unusual densities, and what they reveal about planetary evolution. 1. Shorter orbits than most super Neptunes. One of the most striking differences between these newly discovered super Neptunes and their predecessors is their orbits. Most super Neptunes have been found in wide orbits taking tens to hundreds of days to complete a full revolution around their stars. A Batoi 6054b and Toy 6054c are in extremely tight orbits, completing a full revolution in just 7.5 and 12.5 days, respectively. This makes them some of the fastest orbiting super Neptunes ever discovered. Their presence in the so-called Hot Neptune Desert a region where very few Neptune-sized planets have been observed, suggests that planets of this size either struggle to form at such close distances to their stars or are stripped down over time due to intense stellar radiation. NASA scientists have discovered an exoplanet, Neptune-sized planet, TOI-3261b, where a year lasts just 21 Earth hours. The ultra-hot planet makes a scorchingly close orbit around its host star, resulting in its extremely short year, NASA said. Only the fourth object of its kind ever found, the planet could reveal clues as to how planets such as these form. Another way these planets differ from previously discovered super-Neptunes is their extreme temperatures. 
Most Super Neptunes, such as HATP-11b and GJ-436b, have temperatures ranging between 500 and 1000 Kelvin. But TOI-6054b is estimated to be around 1360 Kelvin, while TOI-6054c reaches about 1144 Kelvin. To put that in perspective, TOI-654B experiences temperatures over 1,000 degrees Celsius, while TOI-6254C is close to 900 degrees Celsius. These are among the hottest super Neptunes ever observed, and their scorching temperatures have major consequences for their atmospheres. At such high temperatures, atmospheric escape becomes a serious factor, meaning these planets could be losing their outer gas layers over time. This could provide valuable insight into why so few hot Neptunes exist. Some might have started as larger planets but lost their atmospheres, leaving behind smaller rocky cores. In terms of composition, these newly discovered super Neptunes also stand out. Most super Neptunes have a mix of gas, ice, and possibly a rocky core, similar to Neptune in our own solar system. However, TOI-6054b and TOI-6054c appear to have lower densities than expected, suggesting that their internal structure might be different from previously known super Neptunes. This raises intriguing questions. Are these planets mostly composed of hydrogen and helium, or do they contain significant amounts of water vapor and other volatiles? Their densities and compositions may also help scientists determine whether these planets formed in their current locations or migrated inward from much farther out in their solar system. What this discovery means for the study of exoplanets. The discovery of TOI-6054b and TOI-6054c provides a rare opportunity to study how planets evolve under extreme conditions. Their tight orbits, high temperatures and potentially unique compositions set them apart from previously known super Neptunes and could offer valuable insights into planetary formation, atmospheric loss, and the long-term evolution of Neptune-like worlds in other solar systems. But how did we discover these super Neptunes in the first place? How did we discover these super Neptunes? The two newly discovered super Neptunes TOI-6054b and TOI-6054c were identified using a combination of space-based and ground-based observation periods. techniques. Looking for small periodic The discovery dips in process start. involved NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite (TESS) and additional follow-up studies to confirm their existence, measure their masses, and analyze their compositions. The two primary methods used in this discovery were the transit method and the radial velocity method, both of which play crucial roles in modern exoplanet research. The role of TESS and the transit method. The first clue that TOI-654b and TOI-6054c existed came from TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which was launched in 2018 with the goal of detecting exoplanets around bright stars. TESS observes large portions of the sky for extended periods, looking for small periodic dips in a star's brightness. This technique, known as the transit method, works as follows. When a planet passes in front of its star from our perspective, it blocks a tiny fraction of the star's light, causing a brief, predictable dip in brightness. If the same dip occurs at regular intervals, it suggests the presence of an orbiting planet. The depth of the dip reveals the planet's size, while the time between transits tells us its orbital period. TESS recorded multiple transit events around TOI-6054, showing that two different planets were regularly passing in front of their host star. The dips in brightness were deeper than those caused by small rocky planets like Earth, indicating that these objects were large enough to be classified as super Neptunes. However, at this stage, scientists could not yet determine the planet's mass or composition, only their size and orbit. To confirm that these transit signals were caused by real planets and not by stellar activity or background noise, 
astronomers turn to ground-based telescopes. These follow-up observations use the radial velocity method, which helps determine the mass of an exoplanet by measuring its gravitational pull on its star. The radial velocity method works as follows. A planet's gravity tugs on its host star as it orbits, causing the star to wobble slightly. This wobble affects the star's light, shifting it slightly toward red or blue wavelengths due to the Doppler effect. By measuring these shifts, astronomers can calculate how strong the gravitational pull is, which reveals the planet's mass. Using high-precision spectrographs, scientists confirmed that TOI 6054b and TOI 6054c were indeed massive super-Neptunes. Their combined transit and radial velocity data allowed researchers to determine both their size and mass, which in turn provided insights into their density and possible composition. What if super-Neptunes are just a phase? But what if these super-Neptunes aren't the final stage of planetary evolution? What if they're just a phase? Planets caught in the act of becoming something else entirely. This is one of the most intriguing questions surrounding these mysterious worlds. Some scientists speculate that super-Neptunes might be transitional planets, evolving from gas giants into smaller rocky worlds over time. As they lose their atmospheres due to intense stellar radiation, they could eventually become super-Earths, rocky planets larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. This theory could explain why hot Neptunes are so rare. If super-Neptunes are constantly losing their atmospheres, they might not survive long in their current form. Over time, they could shrink and transform into entirely different types of planets. Why are exoplanets always super? Versions of our own. The planets orbiting stars outside our solar system are often referred to as super versions of the planets we know. Super Earths, Super Neptunes, or even hot Jupiters. This phenomenon has sparked curiosity. Why do these planets seem to dominate our discoveries? The answer lies in both the way we detect exoplanets and the true diversity of planetary systems in the universe. The dominance of super planets is largely influenced by our current detection methods. The two most common techniques, transit and radial velocity, are highly sensitive to larger planets. In the transit method, telescopes like TESS and Kepler observe stars for tiny dips in brightness caused by a planet passing in front of them. For extended the larger periods, the planet, looking for the more light it blocks during its transit, stars brightness. making it this far easier to detect. Smaller planets, such as those comparable to Mercury or Mars, cause only faint dips in brightness, which are often too subtle for our current instruments to capture reliably. How can we learn more about super-Neptunes? Super-Neptunes are fascinating planets that exist between the size of Neptune and Jupiter and their study holds key insights into planetary formation and evolution. To unravel their mysteries, astronomers rely on advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and upcoming missions specifically designed to study exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized the study of exoplanets with its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum. When a super-Neptune passes in front of its star, Joao Bolyasti can analyze the starlight filtering through the planet's atmosphere. This process, called transmission spectroscopy, allows astronomers to detect molecules like water vapor, methane, or carbon dioxide, revealing the planet's atmospheric composition. JWST also measures the temperature and heat distribution of super-Neptunes. For planets orbiting close to their stars, this data is crucial in understanding how stellar radiation impacts their atmospheres. By observing atmospheric loss or expansion, JWST provides clues about why hot Neptunes are rare and whether some of these planets might evolve into smaller rocky worlds over time. While JWST is a key player, other telescopes contribute to the study of super-Neptunes. Ground-based observatories like the Extremely Large Telescope ELT, set to begin operations in 2028, 
will directly image these planets, offering additional details about their atmospheres and potential surface features. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency's aerial mission, launching in 2029, will focus on studying the atmospheres of hundreds of exoplanets, including super-Neptunes, to identify patterns in their chemistry and thermal behavior. These tools complement JWST by expanding the number of planets studied and enhancing the precision of atmospheric models. Together, they form a network of observatories capable of addressing key questions about super-Neptunes and their role in planetary systems. JWST is already producing significant data about exoplanets with major findings on super-Neptunes expected within the next five years. The aerial mission, launching in 2029, will broaden this scope by focusing on a large survey of exoplanet atmospheres. By the early 2030, combined efforts from JWST, Ariel, and the ELT will provide a detailed picture of how super-Neptunes form, evolve, and interact with their environments. This timeline ensures that the coming decade will be pivotal for understanding super-Neptunes. Through these efforts, astronomers will unlock new knowledge about the diversity of planetary systems and the processes that shape worlds far beyond our solar system. The study of super-Neptunes represents one of the most exciting frontiers in astronomy. With the help of groundbreaking instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope and upcoming missions such as ARIEL and the Extremely Large Telescope, we are beginning to uncover the secrets of these mysterious worlds. From analyzing their atmospheres to understanding their formation and evolution, these efforts are reshaping our understanding of planetary diversity in the universe. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology, these discoveries not only answer fundamental questions about how planets form, but also inspire new questions about what makes our own solar system unique. Super-Neptunes challenge us to think beyond Earth and its neighbors, revealing a universe full of possibilities and surprises. The next decade holds the promise of transformative breakthroughs. What we learn from these planets could redefine our place in the cosmos and pave the way for new explorations of other worlds. If the study of super-Neptunes has taught us anything, it's that the universe is far more diverse for extended periods, and far more fascinating for small, than we ever imagined. Stars. Keep watching, because the best is yet to come.